Hey, how you doing? It's Greg Beckty here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a Mac. All right, let's get started. Go to Google and type in Windows 10 ISO Direct Download. Hit search. It should be in the top search results. Click on that. You should see the official Microsoft Windows download page. Now, all you have to do is select your edition. As of 2018, it's Windows 10. I'm going to click on Confirm. Then choose your language. I picked English. Do whatever works for you. Okay, click on Confirm. Now you'll see an option. I chose 64-bit download for the MacBook Pro in 2018. That's what I did. Click on that. Either download it to your desktop or your downloads folder so you can find it. Open up your finder. Go to the Applications. Then go to Utilities folder and look for Boot Camp Assistant. This should be installed on your Mac already. Click on that. Open it up. Click Continue. Now this will allow you to partition your drive. So choose where you downloaded the file. I did it to the desktop. Click on there. You can see the Win 10. Open that up. Now you have to decide how much room you want to give Windows. I decided about 46 gigabytes. If you're going to be a gamer and you have a lot of Windows games, you may want to go with a larger size, maybe 50 to 100. I chose 46 gigs for my Windows install and then I clicked on install. Now this will take a bit of time. I'm going to fast forward through some of these parts, but I ran into an error. It said it could not download the software. And I just said, OK, and I tried again, and it worked for me. If you run into any support issues, either contact Microsoft support or Apple support if you have any issues. Now I'm going to fast forward through this, and it's just installing the Windows software. And then I'll get a prompt in a second here. And it wants my username and password. So put that in. That's your Mac username and password. Say OK. And then that will allow you to start installing the Windows software. There'll be a number of restarts as we go through this process, as well as some software updates. So just follow the prompts as you see them. I'm just choosing a language and location. I don't have an activation key at this point, so I skipped it. But I'll show you how to activate the software once it's installed. Now, for some reason, the font was super small. I blew it up. You'll have a bunch of different options. I chose Windows 10 Home. It depends if you want Home or if you want Pro. Just look for the version that you want to install. And then you have to agree and then go on to the next step. So this again will take us through a bunch of downloads and updates. I'm going to speed through these as we go. Now one thing I ran into, and you'll see it in a second, it asked for a Wi-Fi connection. And for some reason, I lost control of my trackpad on my MacBook Pro. But I'll show you how I got use of it again and also, I couldn't connect to Wi-Fi right away. I'll show you how I rectified that problem as well. Now we're just going to go through. And again, the software is doing a bunch of updating and installing. And this popped up. And it surprised me. It was Cortana. And for some reason, it wasn't working. I couldn't hear anything. And it couldn't hear my voice. So just go through this section. And then set things up manually. I'll show you what I ended up doing. And then choose your country. I chose Canada. That's where I'm from. And then I chose my keyboard, which was US layout. So whatever applies to you. And then I'm going to say yes. And then it gave me an option for another keyboard layout. I got confused by that, so I just skipped it. And now it says, let's connect you to a network. Here I got confused. I wasn't able to connect to a network, so I skipped it for now. I'll show you how to connect to a network. Now it'll ask for a username and a password for your new Windows install. So this would be different than your Mac, but I guess you could use the same one also asked for a hint, and then I went through that. Now I decided not to use the personal assistant. I skipped that. Now for here, I just unchecked everything, but I recommend that you read all of these choices and see if any of them apply to you. I just said no to all of them, and then I accepted it, and I went on to the next step. It's a process of updating both the Mac software and the Windows software, and you'll see as we progress how that works and how to activate your Windows install. So next, what's going to happen is it sort of reboots again. It takes you through a bit of a menu. I'm going to fast forward this. And then this will allow you to first update your Apple drivers. And then once I did this, I was able to gain control of my trackpad again. So what I had to do was plug in a USB mouse in order to go through some of these steps. So maybe have a USB mouse on hand if you run into the same problem. Now we're going to install some other drivers. Now this is before we connect to Wi-Fi. So you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi for this. 
we're just going to go click install. If anything pops up, just give it a read and click accept and this go through this process. You can see here, would you like to install this software? Yes. Just install it. Go through this process. After we get through this, we'll be able to connect to a Wi-Fi network and then install any Apple updates and then second, any Windows updates. And then third, of course, activating the software. So again, it's restarting again. I'm going to speed you through this. And as this restarts, what you have to do is hit return, enter your username and your password that you created for your Windows computer. Hopefully you've written those down so you haven't forgotten by now. But anyway, do that and then go look for your Wi-Fi. You can see it was at the bottom right. I found mine. And if you want to connect automatically to Wi-Fi, make sure that box is checked. When you click connect, it'll ask for your Wi-Fi password. Make sure you have that on hand. Enter your Wi-Fi password and you should be connected. That's if you're using Wi-Fi, that is. So once you're connected to Wi-Fi, you'll have to update your Apple software. So if you go to the start at the bottom left, look for Apple software update. You can see it right there, Apple software update. Click on that, and that will check for any software updates for the Apple software that works with Windows. I'm gonna install those three items. I'm gonna say yes. Again, if any prompts pop up, read them carefully, and then say yes, install go through that. You can see I've got another one here. I'm going to say install. Now that once that happens, once you have your Apple software updated, I think it calls for a restart here. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to say yes on there, and then we're restarting again. And then the next step is to update your Windows software, and that's a little bit different. So we hit return. We enter our username or password that we created. We go to the lower left. This time we're looking for settings. So look for settings and we're going to click on that. You see it right there, settings. Scroll down to the bottom of this. See just below gaming, it says update and security. We're going to click on that and then we're going to click on check for updates. Then you should see probably a pretty big list of updates for your Windows software. And then these will install one at a time individually without any prompting. And then again, after this, you'll be asked to restart so you can restart your computer. Now, what I found too was after I installed these and restarted, there was an additional update. So you may want to do that. Now, here's how you do it manually. I couldn't get it to restart. I had to go there to the start menu and click on restart for some reason. I don't know what happened. Anyway, once this restarts, again, go and check, go to settings, check for any updates. Now we can also activate the software from here as well. So click on that, updates, and check to see if there's any additional updates. If not, you can just go to activation and you can activate your Windows. Now again, you go to settings, you go down to updates and security, and on the left you can see activation. Once you go in there, you'll see go to store. When you go to the store, you can purchase a license for Windows 10. I believe it's $99 at the time of this recording in the US. I think it was $165 in Canadian dollars. A little bit higher. So the pricing may vary depending on when you see this video. Now again, I shut down the computer. Now when you start it up, if you hold the option key on your Mac, you can choose to boot to the Windows or the Mac. So when you boot up your computer, so on a MacBook Pro, if you open the top, it starts to boot. Make sure you have the option key held down and then you can choose either Mac or Windows. Also, if you're on a Mac and you're in the Mac OS, you just click on that startup drive and you can choose boot camp or the Mac. So you could switch to boot camp, which is your windows. You probably have to put your username and password. Uh, the little lock was on there and then restart and you'll be in windows. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you're into photography videos, check out all the videos on my channel. Make sure you subscribe for further updates. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.